big boy. It's last week. Okay. <laughs> what inspired the green? Let's hear. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're back in the weird world of fashion. Not another one? Oh, for God's sake, I can't... Yep, another one. Fashion, a world where you can reach the pinnacle of your career dressed as an asylum patient, an angry bum bag, or even a wacky waving condom arm flailing arm tube woman. Now, we already took Fashion Week by storm with Maximus Bucharest from Bucharest. But since the fame, he's become hard to work with and turned out to be outright immature. <laughs> so we needed a new mature model. And who's more mature than our free bus pass using Werther's Original Eating Older Generation? Basically, we wanted to make someone's nan famous at London Fashion Week to prove age is truly just a number. So ladies and gentlemen, sit yourselves down for this extremely fashionable episode of The Second Show. Make sure you're watching to the end because this one takes a turn for the unexpected. Step one, find an old person. We're looking for the next old talent in the fashion game. Ten OAPs flocking from around the country to audition for us. Hi. Hello, how are you doing? Hi. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Hey, thanks for coming. Wow. <laughs> My name is Charles Silverstone. Celine Dunn. I'm Diane Crush. Ingrid Evans. Well, I mean, come on, you know who I am. David McGillivray, influencer, fashion icon. I'm 73. 79. Why do you want my age? I'm 61, believe it or not. <laughs> um, very good. For that age. <laughs> I'm very good in general as well. <laughs> what are three of your favourite things in life? I am a table tennis connoisseur. Young men. Watch Ooh. out. I <laughs> know a couple of them. <laughs> what, what do you think of the fashion industry in general? It's not a huge part of my life. <laughs> Sometimes when you look at fashion shows, I mean, you look and you think, nobody would wear that. It's crazy. So we were feeling desperately unqualified to audition these lovely people. Uh, what are we doing? <laughs> I, I feel so unqualified. <laughs> I know, it just feels wrong. The fashion game is cutthroat and we needed someone who exuded the right vibe and knew what they wanted. And that is when Elizabeth came walking in. Hi, Elizabeth. Hello. Good. You went to Shrove Tide, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah that's my hometown. Elizabeth and I live. I'm 78. You're looking very good for 78, by the way. I would have, uh, I would have guessed younger. Oh, <laughs> a real old smoothie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry. What are three of your favourite things in life? The colour green, rain, either my Kindle or... Toast and jam. I wondered if I could gate crash a fashion show. Is that what you thought about then, like gate crash and fashion? Yeah, I have, yeah. You in have? Paris, actually. Really? <laughs> yes. Did you ever try it? No. <laughs> well, why not? <laughs> well, I thought it would be most unlikely that I would um, get in. We took a real shine to Elizabeth, especially Jay, but it all means nothing if you can't handle the pressure of 30 paparazzi flashing at you. So, we had to put our old folks to the test. Uh, ah, what are you wearing today? David, paparazzi! David! One at a time! Oh. Gonna be the big oh. money! One at a time, paparazzi! Please, one at a time! Maxima, what are you wearing today? Oh, it's Oscar de la Renta. Thank you. Charles, what are you wearing today? Oh, just something that I've knocked up on in my spare time, thank you. The current season, big boy! everyone! What are you wearing today, Maxima? Would you just like to know? Oh, oh wouldn't you like to know? Oh, wow. You need what a woman. What a woman. It's glass screen. Glass screen. We loved Elizabeth. She was cool in the face of pressure. She had always wanted to gate crash a show and she knew what she liked. So we wasted no time in giving her the job. Hello Elizabeth, it's Jay here from the Zach and Jay Show. Hi Jay. And Zach. Hi. And Zach. A long story short, we want you in. You wowed us, you blew us away. We loved the story of you trying to previously get on top of a fashion week before. And we want to take London Fashion Week by storm with you. Is that okay? It's something I've, I've always wanted yeah. to do. Yay! We've got a model. Oh, she's in. She is a sweetheart. Step two. We wanted to craft our model based on her favourite things. The colour green. green. Rain, Rain and toast, toast and, jam. and jam. So, what's the first stop when pulling together a game-changing outfit? 
A 99p hardware store, of course. I just love the brand on this. Anything else is green in this hardware store is yours, Elizabeth. If it needs to be green. Yeah. Do you like green? Yeah. It's the best colour. <laughs> this is strong. Green gives you life. Green's a fresh colour. I literally just bought everything green in that match shop. First time I saw you, more than a girl and my friend was related. My words all fell on my tongue and my cadence decayed. I've visions of staying in bed watching anime, baby, but lately. I think we have our eyewear sorts of green with this to block out the haters. Do you like them? Ooh, this one? <laughs> They're waving. So the shopping was complete. Plastic protective packaging, washing up gloves, grape earrings, Barbie legs, panda umbrella, and a bike lock necklace. All that was left to do was dress Elizabeth to impress. But first, we needed to get advice from an expert. <laughs> there he is. Hi, Max. Max must pull Elizabeth. I'm sorry. What's the plan, Elizabeth? Do you be walking the walk or just talking the talk? Uh, both. Hmm. What's your tips for the day? Tips for the day, literally don't care about anybody else. Just do your own thing, be a star, be a vision, and do you. I think you've got all the ingredients you need. I don't know who does your haircut, but they need a raise. <laughs> so any minute now, Maximus, Elizabeth will become the green goddess, and uh, she may just take your place. <laughs> that's, that's cute, Zachary. That's, that's gonna I believe in you. I think you've got this, the green goddess. <laughs> The green goddess, there she is in all the glory. How do you feel? Great. You look great. I'm so happy that we can realise your dream to I do know. over Fashion Week. I know. Because you look amazing, you're going you're gonna to have it by storm. It seemed like Jamie was really taking a shine to Elizabeth. She's so good. Can we have a twirl, please, the green goddess. Jeez, amazing, amazing. I'm going to get it off. Can you see? How did you get it on? Well, I, I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, I knew it was an easy one. <laughs> what is your second name? It's I live. I, I, I live. I live. Yeah. I live. I live. Yeah. How about Alicia, I die? Yeah. <laughs> I live, I will, I will. I live, I <laughs> I love, and it's yeah, I love fashion. <laughs> <laughs> what is, what is Romanian for green? Verde. Verde. That's Italian, I was nearly the same. Yeah. Alicia Verde. Alicia Verde. Alicia, Alicia Verde. Verde. Does it, does it feel Alicia. right? Yeah, Alicia Verde. Right, okay. So it was decided. Elizabeth had been transformed into Alicia Verde. The outfit had come together wonderfully and we were feeling confident that our grandma from Kent was about to become a fashion icon in the next four hours. But first, let me introduce you to the team. Me, head paparazzi. Jay, Alicia's young toy boy husband. Whoa, 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 whoa. Gabe, Alicia's assistant and umbrella holder. No photos, please. And the green goddess herself, Alicia Verde. Whoa! A magical dancing pigeon turned up to remind you to like this video and subscribe if you're new. Now! With two hours prep, it was time to put our outfit to the test and see if we could get into the exclusive Fashion Week show with a load of random green stuff from a hardware store and a jar of jam. The game plan was simple. If we could rock up fashionably late to a show and create enough hype walking towards it, then the people on the door would think we belong. 
So with that, Alicia and her toy boy Jay walked towards the entrance and it wasn't long before the paparazzi came swarming. But there wasn't time for this, so after posing for a few photos, we walked towards the gatekeepers on the door and they didn't even ask for a name. Hello, just straight down through the double door, so I literally starting right now. We were inside the belly of the beast. Our first attempt was a complete success. And all that was left to do now was enjoy the show. We walked in. Alicia couldn't see because of the glasses, but that did not matter. I'm not afraid to take the glasses. Okay. I killed a man to get him to stare at. They were visible to the knee, one of them well beyond. But little did we know what awaited for us outside the venue. Turns out word had spread whilst inside the show of the attendance of Elizia Verde, and it wasn't long before the people came flocking. Look at these peasants snapping away for the perfect shot of a completely made up character. Elizia's dreams of gate crashing a fashion show had come true in a dramatic fashion, and they even wanted a slice of Jay. How long have you been together? Yes. <laughs> How did it feel? You're great. Yeah. So what happens when you get the world? Are you happy? No, I'm not. I want more. So we strive for more. The Burberry show was tipped to be the hottest of the week, the biggest show in fashion with the biggest names in attendance, and we wanted a slice. So we took an Uber luck straight there. If we could get Elizia, who four hours earlier was Elizabeth the Grandma from Kent to the top of London Fashion Week, then we'd be so proud. The transformation was amazing, but now it's time to put the icing on the cake. How you feeling, Alicia? Fine. The London's next top model. Any final words before the biggest <laughs> show of this Fashion Week? This is so brilliant. Right. We pulled up. Once again, the paparazzi were desperate for a slice, a slice of verde. Alicia! Alicia! Alicia Verde had arrived, and every single soul knew about it. This outfit is the best green creation since Shrek. The paparazzi knew that, we knew that, and they wanted more. But let's see if it was enough to get into the show. We said a name, a random name, but it was enough for the security to open the fence for the green goddess. At this point, it may look like Alicia was getting rejected down to not having a ticket to the most popular show of the year. No, don't be silly. It was simply too mainstream for her. And what a move that would prove to be as Alicia and her assistant walked away, this glorious man took her photo. Now this is Phil O, perhaps the most renowned street style photographer on the face of the planet. He just papped Alicia and one day later she landed in vogue alongside Naomi Campbell, Kate Blanchett and Winnie Harlow. The biggest names in fashion and our creation. Zach and Jay had done it again, we had topped fashion week, thank you Vogue, thank you Phil. And this is a message to Kendall Jenner and Balenciaga. We see you're already copying Alicia's style. We are the leaders of the fashion world. Go follow Alicia on Instagram. Subscribe if you're new. See you next week.